It's day 12 of advent of code and let's see if ChatGPT can handle it. So far it seems that day 12 was the hardest one. At least for me it was the hardest to figure out. So we'll see if ChatGPT is able to tackle it as well. Can you please solve the following problem? Uh, please use the sample input in the description, validate your solution, and then run against the input file attached. Oh, of course, I press enter too quickly, so problem is here, and the input is here. So have a go. Right, so, so far it's uh, starting very similarly to what I've done. Breath for search, so kind of float fill algorithm. Visited, uh, tracking the visited cells. So far exactly the same thing as what I was doing. So it's validating against a sample input, which is nice. Right, so. Let's see, one, four, six, five, one, one, two. So it is correct. So the first part was not a big deal for ChatGPT. The second one is the one I'm interested in. So this one was, was a doozy. At least for me, it was kind of hard. So let's see what happens. Can you solve the advanced version? Right, let's see what happens. Okay, so it's doing the movement in directions. Okay. Autobahns contributes to a side. Well, yeah, that's definitely different. Should be different. So parameter and size is not the same thing. So far it's the same approach or actually. Oh, really? No, I don't think so. The result is different, so that is not correct. Try again. Let's give it a second chance. I know the approach seemed not correct because it's no not even tracking if the site has started from a neighbor and is continuing onwards from some direction. So this doesn't seem to be right. And it got back to the original numbers. I don't feel it's possible to, or at least I don't see it likely, it's possible to count the sites right from the first breath first search. I think you have to do first breath first search to find the components and then track the sites in a separate like four directional execution. But so far that doesn't seem but that's what ChatGPT is doing. And no, so far it seems it's kind of trying the same thing all over again. So yeah, I, even though the first part was really simple and very quick for ChatGP to, to solve, the second one is causing some trouble. And now you know, it's doing 
some unique side striking, but how do you track that? I'm not sure how that would help. No. As long as you are starting from a single point to a neighbor, you cannot track the sides uniquely. You still need to go through the shape and see if there is some kind of uh, inner irregularity in the shape that causes you to temporarily end the side and continue a new side later. It's like it doesn't seem like this approach would be enough. But JGPT is still trying, so let's give it some more chance. Okay, so it's very validating the results, which is very nice. But it's still not getting there. So I think we are safe to say the second part of the problem is not something ChatGPT will be able to solve. So uh, it's not, not getting closer at least. It's just counting the sides as at the beginning. It's just be get, getting back to its original approach, not really improving it. So I think it will be time to give up. Like this is, this doesn't make sense, but I don't think that it will actually happen in the code. And again, it's doing the same thing, even though like in the terms of thinking about the problem, it's, it's going the right direction. It needs to redefine handling of shared isolated sites, but it's still essentially doing the same thing again and again and again. So no, this is just the same thing again. This cannot work. Nope. Yeah, so it's finally gave up. So we can pronounce this problem as too hard for ChatGPT to solve. So day 12, we have solved the first part easily but not the second part. So good to know we are uh, in the middle uh, half of uh, Advent of Code 2024. So there's still 13 more problems to or 13 more days to be solved. We'll see if ChatGPT still can pick up and improve for the next days. Uh, I will see you in the next video and until then have a great time.